Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. Yeah, you did the right thing. I consider the whole matter closed. Zachary Broman will be remembered as a good soldier. But as a terrible human being, I hope. But at least by the kids that he molested. And the other guy's dad, so they're both dead. Okay, well, I had to end the last episode abruptly because we were out of time and I didn't know how long that was going to take. But it looks like it was pretty short for him. That's good. I I enjoy the fact that he's dead. He's now just as defunct as his little cohort is. And let's continue going around and, um, well, trying to open this lock here. And uh, continuing to do our quest. We're still looking for coal. I don't think... Is this locked? No. Uh, we're still looking for coal and I don't think I'm going to find coal. Uh, because he ran away so hard. Oh, maybe could could that be him? Lister is always complaining about... Not ha not being, hmm. Yeah. The oh, well, that's right. I need to go to the Velasquez family and tell them the bad news. I need to tell them the whole thing. Oh, that guy's that Broman guy is not gonna be remembered as a good soldier. He's gonna no. He's gonna be remembered as a piece of shit. That's what I'm gonna do to him. Hmm. I wonder though. Cole's gotta be hiding in plain daylight. Eyesight or something. I. I have no idea where he is. Hmm. He ran this way, so he's got to be this side of the field. But he's in one of these guys? So those are not, because I talked to them already. So it could be one of these guys that I maybe... I don't know. Like, I don't really know. Nope. Good day, Lister. No, Lister is coming. Lister's coming. Let's go and talk to the Velasquez. And then from there... How's our money situation, by the way? Um, our raid situation is pretty good. Our money situation is decent for right now. Our drug situation is amazing, as per usual. And I don't remember where the where the Velasquez family was, though. Were they here? No, this is like a bar. Okay, so they were not here. They were on this side of the map, though. I do remember... I do remember that. Hmm... Let me go over here. What the hell? Am I stuck? Come on, Lister. Get out of my face. <sighs> and, yeah, I think they were down here. Might be mistaken, but I'm gonna find out. Let's see. So, hello. Uh, Aaron, it will surely be a fine emperor. Maybe. Okay. These are not them. Uh, hi. No. Okay. Th is that a kid? It's a girl. It is a kid, but it's it's just a girl. I think they might have been here in this, in this apartment building, sort of. Uh, there might be at the end, I think. Were, were they? Were these the ones? No. No. Okay, I wonder if there's any clues to be had here or something, but I can't investigate. I think that's her. Yeah, Lorraine Velasquez. Well, it's gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a bad day for her. Please, find my son. Don't say anything. I don't want to hear that you can't find him, and neither do I want a false hope. Just bring him back if you can. Well, I'm sorry, but y your son is dead. No! That can't be true! You must be mistaken! My Felix can't be dead! And she breaks into tears. Oh... Uh, you sh Let, let's come back tomorrow and deliver the rest of the bad news tomorrow. She might die of a heart attack or something. I don't know how old she is. Anyway, it's true. Colonel Brahman sent him, as well as several other boys, to Chuck, a weapons dealer in Hunter's territory. Both of them sexually abused the children, but your son was murdered by Chuck because, because he tried to escape. This... This can't be happening. That's horrible. She looks at you with eyes full of tears, as if asking for a reasonable explanation. And my Felix, first my husband, and now my son. I can't take that. Not again. I. I don't know. Let's go with this one. I want you to know that they've both paid for what they've done. Oh, what good is that? Was that supposed to make me feel relieved? Because it didn't. Well, it's not supposed to make you feel relieved. Actually, I think it. In a situation like this, I think. That's not good for in the short term, but in the long term it's better. I think, maybe, depends on the person, of course. Because it didn't! Nothing will bring back my son! Please, just leave me alone! Damn it, woman, pull yourself together! Life goes on! How can you even say something like that? You're... Well, it's true, first. Anyway, you're just like the other savages from, outside, from the outside world. Get out of here! I don't want to see you ever again! Go! Well, if that's how you see it... As you wish. I'm leaving. I am leaving. Man, does Lysra have anything to say about that? So Colonel Braun shot himself and that settled it? 
I understand you dislike it like this, she says. You feel it's not the way it should be, right? But, well, but what good would it do to keep talking about it? This revelation would hurt everybody. The dwellers need to believe the army is here for their protection. They need to believe they can always rely on it. And that is the truth. So why spoil it on account of one bad person? Colonel Brahman committed terrible crimes, but at least his last action was correct. That is the way it should stay. I'm positive that even, that even Miss, uh, Miss Velasquez understood the situation and won't talk about Brahman's crimes. Mm, I don't think so. I I don't know. Mm. Well, I can understand not talking about it. Sure, whatever, doesn't matter. The thing is, he should pay for it. He should pay and not in being killed. Although, it's kind of funny that he did the right thing. He basically killed a pedophile. Uh, and, yeah. So, he killed a pedophile. A pedophile so, in, he's kind of an okay guy. All things... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> of course, the, um, rot uh, the half-rotten apple is still a rotten apple. But you can still eat it if you take away the rotten. I mean, you can look at it both ways. And you can ferment it if the rotten is good for fermentation and all that sort of stuff. Let's see where we are in terms of leveling up. And we're going to need some, some good stuff here. Actually, we're going to go... I want to... I wanna, now that we can see... Well, we could see before, but... What I mean is, now that we can... Uh level up and we can probably disarm that trap that we had in that place I am gonna take a peek and try to figure out what that was was it here was it in this level what is it uh, was it somewhere else I don't remember I don't think it was here no it wasn't here there's that poodle po puddles of blood over there but that's all fine so coal is nowhere to be seen I have no idea where it went and uh, well I can't figure it out the only reason why I could figure out the, the Velasquez kid thing is because I saw <laughs> Chuck's weapons. Well, if you want to be a pedophile, don't advertise your home. And suddenly, oh, actually, yeah. So he's still dead, dead over there. Perfect. And also torn in pieces. That's also nice. Okay, now, what I will do is I'll bring up my traps. And uh, I do apologize for my throat. Much better now. I just had to clear it with... Uh, how do you how do you say that? You just <clears throat> what's that? Clear your throat. Yes, yeah, it's what it is. It's a it's a like a chuck or a chuckle or something. Anyway, that should be more than enough to do what I am about to do. And let's do this thing. Press four, and uh, you discovered a booby trap connected to some explosives. Manipulating Chuck's goods in any way would likely lead to an explosion that would destroy everything. So let's not do that. Though it wasn't easy, you managed to deactivate the booby trap in the end. Chuck's goods should be safely accessible now. They're not going to be necessary. Oh, it's these goods. Eh. Oh. I want that so much. It didn't sell that to me. Holy crap, there's so much stuff. Holy crap! I wonder how much I need. I'm gonna reload there. Uh, I'm gonna try and check for traps. Of course, that destroys it. I'm gonna try three more times. Yeah. That, does it change the... Do you notice? Does it change the, the, the thing? Yeah, it does. It looks different. Or it looked... Dif hmm... I want that. I want that combat armor. That combat armor is gonna be good for for uh, Carrie. She can use combat armor, but if I could get my hands on a on a um, power armor, that would be better. <sighs> but anyway, he, it's still gonna be there. We're gonna be fine. Don't worry. It's all good. We probably are not gonna need that anyway, so it's all fine. Carrie hopefully won't die. I really hope she won't. I really hope Lysra won't die either, because she's not looking too fine. But anyway, I'm gonna sell some stuff here to this guy if he um, if he sells any. Probably won't. Yeah, it doesn't have anything. Oh, he does sell some stuff. That's nice. Did he replenish his things? I will buy everything. Thank you very much, sir. Um, let's see. Come on, give me something good. Give me a combat armor. He's not going to give me a combat armor. I know. But still, it's good to hope. Oh, man, that thing is expensive. That is not. Uh, I don't need that. But sure, I'm going to sell. This is a normal one. Yep, just sell it. Uh, what's the... Actually... Hmm... I have so much crap in me right now. Sell all of this. Because, yeah, why not? Just carry weight. Not unnecessary. Put that over there. And I will sell, I think, a few of these. Because these are pretty expensive for 
what they are, and there it is. I'm gonna take one away, and take one cigarette. Uh, take all of these, I guess. They're not expensive enough, are they? Well, I take one of the... Oh, there it is. There it is. So let's go up here. So, no, that, not that one. This one. Uh-huh. And exactly the amount of money I wanted. Exactly. That's good. That's a good trade. I agree. Thank you very much. Uh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I'll see you later. Maybe. I hope I'll be able to complete that quest. Uh, but for right now, we're going to continue in going onwards with our lives. And actually, I should save the game. I don't know what episode we're in. I'm going to wager 38, but it's probably not. It's probably 39. And, but that would be, would be right, but it's probably 40, actually. Because um, I think I missed a few episodes there. But it doesn't matter, because we have done things to uh, have people killed and all that sort of stuff. So we need to go to set it. No, we, oh, we need to go to set it. We also need to go to rat hole, because I wanted to... Um, I think I wanted to do something. What about... What about the... The scrapyard up there. That's where I want to go. Okay, the scrapyard is a good place to go. I want to go there. So it turns out the last location in the map was not the scrapyard that we got from Sadich. That is, that is cool. That is cool. That's gonna be. Oh, dogs! No, nay, please nay. Let me go. Please don't attack. Uh, it's fine. Let's. No, don't use. Don't use that. Or do. Huh? Just tearing them apart. Nah. Well, she's not gonna take any damage with that thing. It's a shame I didn't get to uh, two action points there or two uh, two turns, but it's all fine. I should be able to go to the exit of the map right now, even if I equip this thing, which I will do, and I will unload that. And where's my ammo? Where's my e bury me with my ammo? There it is, and that's the one. And let's continue. There it is. Perfect. Don't want ain't nobody got time for dogs. And I wonder if we're gonna find something cool over here because we oh. Calm down, keep your hands where you can see. I can see them. Don't try to rob uh, rob me. I know all the tricks in the book. And who are you? Wanderers? I hope for your sake that you're not trying to rob us. I think they're fine. Yes. That's pretty cool. That is a cool encounter. We can rob them if we want. That is pretty awesome, actually. That's pretty awesome. I mean, we've faced these guys before. They don't really have that much stuff, but... Early on in the game, that could be a good haul. Just stealing from those guys. Of course, you're gonna need to survive, but apart from that, that's that's pretty awesome. Man, this game's got some. This this mod has got some pretty awesome design decisions. I, I must say, I mean, just stuff that clearly the developers thought about it. You know, because they thought it was gonna make a difference, and it does. It does. Of course, it's a long cry for from the beginning of the game, where uh, uh, where Far Cry. I mean, not a long cry. A far cry from the beginning of the game where we were just scraping by, having no money. And actually having to go from one place to another uh, to, to get stuff. But that was pretty fun as well. And now we are only carrying around stuff. Eh, well, that's that's how it goes. It's a shame we don't have a car. Because that's the beauty of the car, is just having the trunk. All I need is a trunk. And I must say, I finished the game with just the trunk in Fallout 2. Because there was a bug. That, <laughs> or there's still a bug, actually, I think. Even with the restoration project. Sometimes it props up. Oh, I want to go there. There. You've discovered a small site surrounded by cars, wrecks, and all kinds of junk. Your arrival was accompanied by the barking of several dogs, which no doubt notified the owner of your presence. The dogs seem to be friendly, because they're not attacking. And they're also scratching their ears, and I can't move... Okay. I think we should be fine. Um, where's my... Okay, let's talk. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Let's talk with this guy. Hello there. What brings you to this part of the wasteland? Yeah, just passing by. See ya. Yeah, because I forgot about something. I need to uh, get my junk out of her. It's, don't read too much into that. It's not her. It's scary. Yeah. Let's get that. And I will sell it for that guy. And I hope, apparently somebody told me in the comment that this question... In the comment section, I mean, uh, that this quest is not um, a bust. He will do something for me. It was not supposed to be... The guy that sold me that junk was not scamming me. So, are you Jonathan? Yep, I'm Jonathan. What brings you here? Well, Charlie sent me. I hope you know him. He said he'll pay me for some junk I brought you. Uh, okay, show me what you got. And give me everything you... Oh, give him everything. Okay, junk, you say? Look at this! He takes out a rusty object. This might come come mighty useful. And this! He jabbed at an... At an unidentified part. That's too many uns. 
A turn on an identified part. That's that's what I call a nice catch, he says. How much did Charlie say this was worth? I think 400? Yep, that'll do it. This catch is worth it. Here they are. Okay, thanks. Can I can I do something else? Sure. Can I ask you something? Question? Sure, you can. I'm glad you can waggle my, I can, uh, waggle my tongue at somebody once again. No, not, that, not that much. Thank you. I just wanted to ask some questions. Um, so, what did you? What do you know about, about Charlie? He seems a little strange. I don't get to see Charlie often, but he's a good, go uh, good boy. He collects stuff for me wherever he manages to, then sells it to me. I haven't seen him for a long time. I was getting worried, but it seems he ran into a good spot. Well, I'm surprised there's someone willing to pay for that gar garbage. Well, call it what you like, but these things are still useful. Everybody's living on the garbage of the past, but you are they're acting just like before the war. They throw stuff away, stuff that's still good for something. Yeah, I don't think that's the case, but sure. And Charlie, what do you know about him? He seemed a little strange. Okay, he just goes around uh, the questions. Wait, since you're here, could you help me with something? I'd pay you handsomely, of course. So what do you need? See, some strange mutated creatures have been showing up lately. Oh, that's death claws, isn't it? Mm. Sometimes when it's dark, they even attack. They never used to be around here before. In fact, I haven't seen anything like that until now. I think it was something to do with that guy living in a cave not far from here. It's never really bothered me before. The truth is, I've only seen him once, but he's the only person who might know more about this. So what do you want me to do? I'll show you on the map. Mark the cave's location. You'd never find it without that. Find out as much as you can and try to get rid of those creatures for me if you can. I think I'll find something to pay you with. Um, sure, okay. That's the deal. Good, it's not far from here. And he shows me the location. Good luck then. Yep. Uh, yes, that's that boss for sure. Lovely that we find another location. Let's take a time to, let's take a moment to appreciate the debris in this place. It looks to be very well... The attention to detail here looks to be a lot, and that's good. We shouldn't forget that. Somebody, or more than one person maybe, took a bunch of time to get all of this done. And let's see what we have here. And we have... Ooh, electronic part. What the hell is that supposed to be? Is that like a special ending for the game? Because we found something similar to that before. It could be a special ending for the game where you need to collect like special parts from all over the wasteland. And then at the end we can fix the machine and survive. That'd be a badass thing. Or am I just already knowing the how the how the main quest is gonna turn out? I hope not. Let's go. Let's get out of here. So let's go to the Asmodeus's cave. Asmodeus's. Asmodeus. 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 That's Latin, so that'd be Asmo Asmodeus. With a sh, the s's. Depends on whether you're talking ecclesiastic Latin or, or, uh, or not. I think I want the experience here. A small army of floaters and centaurs. Holy crap! It's not a small army. They're right on top of me. They're not doing any damage though, so that's a good thing. Uh, okay, so we got two centaurs and one floater. I'm gonna try to take out the floater first. Never know what to attack him on, but I'm gonna go with the head. See if I can knock him out. Nine points of damage. The lasers do do tend to work pretty nice. Against these, was that a miss? <laughs> that was a miss. <laughs> okay, so it's good because they're attacking Lystra and me. Oh man, did you know the floaters were modeled after a female? <laughs> what I was gonna, I, I think I said this. I said this in one on my uh, flow hall two playthrough, but I think I I said it in exactly the same thing. So I'll say it when I I'll say it how I was gonna say it. Did you know that floaters were modeled after a female's vagina? Yeah. <laughs> Or actually, it could be just a vulva. It's not okay. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I could say I can see it, but I don't know. You need to be very attentive to, to notice that little detail. It's the head. It's the, it's the thing over there. It's what it is. Uh, so we're not doing that much damage. I think I'm gonna go with a shotgun here, and see if that does a little bit more damage. Lister is not taking any damage. I am, on the other hand, the floater is the most dangerous here, apparently. Nice. They really just bite you, the centaurs. They're not a problem at all. Well, they are doing some damage, though. Eh. What do I know? Let's get this guy in the face. Okay, was that good? That was a critical for 10, so that was not good. I need to bypass the armor. Okay, they're going for Lystra. This might go very badly. She wants... I don't want to kill you, she says. No, you, yes, you do. You, yes, you, yes, you want to kill them. These guys are not even... They don't even have a conscience. They are remnants of the master's army, but they are terrible. Let's shoot this guy in the mouth. See if that works. 
No, four points of damage. I hope I hope he, did, he doesn't attack carry. Please don't attack carry. Dang it! I don't know why I'm running away though. And that's a floor. Uh, that's a centaur down. Okay, so let's go with the ganglion. Ganglion. I don't know if that's for the eyes. It seems to do a lot of damage on the ganglion. I don't. Ouch! Don't shoot. Damn you. Yeah, Lissera is not in a good position to to be shot at. I'm gonna need to send her away a little bit. I can do that. It's all fine. Yeah, you shoot me with your female's vagina. Let's m move her away from here so that she doesn't get shot. Although, that might not turn out too well. That's... 10 points. Nasty floater. Oh, they are nasty floaters. So the centaurs are just centaurs, but... Yeah, the floaters are nasty. They haven't washed too, too often, that's why. They're nasty. Come on. Let's see. So he's down to 83 out of 200. Yeah, these guys have a lot of health. That was 41. That was a critical. And that floater is going down as well. I do want to see how much health it has before... Oh, no. Lystra, get up on your feet. Yeah, that's only two action points. She even moved. She did miss the shot, but she even moved. Okay, you shut up. I'm going to kill you now. Let's see. So this guy... Oh, he's got 150 health. Not anymore. Oh, come on. Six... Oh, don't hit the corpses. Oh, 13 points of damage. That's not good. Okay. Oh, seriously. You are getting on my nerves right now. That guy needs to die, though. That guy... Oh, okay. I need to move a little to the side here so I can shoot him a little bit better. That's good. That was 43 damage. Perfect. Please don't shoot me. Thank you for shooting the correct guy. Not a whole lot of damage, I guess, but still fine. Oh, don't you... Why? Why are you going for Lystra? She's so happy. Okay, good. And that was 2,500 experience. That is the reason why I came here for this particular encounter. Because, of course, that is a lot of experience for these guys. A very, very big amount of experience. Let's see where we are right now. Eh, we could level up more. I'm thinking that maybe we're going to be able to reach level 17 or something. Uh, let's go, let's go. Let's see what happens at Asmodeus' cave. Oh. It's a bunch of roots, but the cave itself, well, apart from the roots, there's nobody here. What is that? Goo. Some strange, noxious, biological goo. Let's go in there. Oh, it's not death claws, it's just centaurs. Oh, that's fine then. That guy is a nasty ass. Uh, okay, is he a nasty centaur? Wait a minute, he's... What the hell is going on here? What? I have no... What? Why did we come here? Was it because Asmodeus might know more about about this, or how? Why? I'm not in a good place, by the way. This is a bad place to be in. Uh, this is really bad, actually. This is really, really bad. That was a one-shot kill. That's perfect. Move to the side as much as you can. That guy's just a normal centaur. I, I know it looks big, but it's not that big. It's not that big. Don't worry. So Carrie's not shooting. Apparently, she's not. <laughs> Seemingly lifeless. Oh no, is it still still around? So basically, you got critically hit in the ganglion for 69 hit points, and the floater falls to the ground. Seemingly lifeless. He just got hit for 14, and another one for 29 is down to 17 health. And that sounded good. That sounded floppy. I love floppy deaths. Okay. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. We got guys trapped in the... Are they different? Do they have anything? They look like they have... You see the, the colors? Are they... Do they all have the colors? I mean, a centaur. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Eh. Okay. Dead and ass crippled limbs. That's fantastic. It's lovely. Amazing. There's a bunch of goo around. There's floaters all over. I think we're doing well. I'm gonna wait until that guy comes into, into view. Yeah. Reload your thing. And, oh man, come on. Okay, just fall back. He's gonna be, he's gonna be shot. Yeah, that was for 34. Pretty decent. Carrie's apparently not attacking at all for some reason. He just got shot for 93. And there goes Carrie, shooting at the door over there. And there goes Lister, taking no damage. And shooting the guy as well. And that was a kill. Okay, perfect. Is that the end of combat? That is the end of combat. Let's see if they have anything. They don't, of course not. Okay, so they have... I don't know what to think of this place. Oh, Asmodeus is dead, isn't he? Former member of the Children of the Cathedral. I think that... 
I think something went terribly wrong with his whatever he was doing. Possibly experiments, I would think. I mean, this does look like some sort of experimentation lab or something. I don't, is, are there guys there? So he just turned around and saw me. And you're going to be shot in the face. And I'm going to move away. 84 crits. That was pretty nice. He's not going to attack again because, of course, he was the one to start combat. I'm going to see if I can take shots here. I can, so they're dead. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to kill him. I really thought I, did, I would. But no. No crit for me. Nice miss. Nice hit. Get him. Yeah. There we go. Don't end combat. I don't think we're on... Oh. Oh, yeah. Our guys know what's up. Our guys know what's up. That's one shot in the ganglion for 38. I'm going to take care of that guy because he's, of course, the most dangerous here. And Carrie is doing her thing. And I'm going to shoot this guy. Let's see. He's down to 27. So that's not really a problem. Let's go with that ganglion over there. Keep moving. That guy's going to need to be shot. Oh, come on, Carrie. Ooh. <laughs> Just see that death? That was good. <laughs> that was really good, actually. I don't remember seeing that death too often. I don't remember seeing that death at all, but I'm sure I have seen it. Because I have played with the, with the Bloody Mask perk before. Or trait, rather. Uh, so, yeah. I know. I know that death. I know all deaths. And there we go. Oh, come on, Carrie. Don't... You girl... You girls, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, that might be... The, the reason why I don't remember that is because I don't often use laser rifles. The laser weapons, I mean. There it is. Because there's no really discernible benefit to having energy weapons rather than... At least not in Fallout 1. Uh, rather than... Um, than the ghost rifle, really. It's... Uh, the ghost rifle, is that the weapon that you use later in the game? I think so. In Fallout 1, I believe so. Uh, but there's no, there's no really difference. I mean, just the damage output sort of thing, and y you go with finesse and more p criticals and that sort of stuff. I need to, I need to figure out what this is though. Does it work? Tell me it works. I failed to learn anything. No, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm a genius here. I got 60 science. Come on, that's really bad actually. That's really bad. So that guy needs. That, there's a bunch of them around though. Man, can you imagine coming here early in the game? This would be terrible. It'd be death all over the place. Uh, so there we go. He's coming. No. Nah. I think he got two turns. He must have gotten two turns. Oh, come on. Nine points. Okay, come on. Give me something. Eight points. Don't give me seven. Fourteen. That's twice what I asked not you to give me. So that's fine. It's okay. No, don't shoot that. No, no, that, that's bad. Is that a kill? That is not a kill. Please, girls. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh! That hurt me. 40 points? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, she's under 3? Holy crap! Run away. Run away, Lysra. Don't be... Yes. I know you're used to blood and in really smaller amounts. That was a terrible hit. Holy crap. I know that guy is over there. I got robes here. Uh, I'm probably going to need to give this to, um, to Lystra. Oh, we got a holodisc as well. To, to carry, I mean. Because uh, she can wear those. Lystra is going to stay there and take a nap for right now. See if I can shoot that guy. Is, can, he, can he get out of there? He might not be able to get out. Uh, that was a critical for 38. Oh, he can get out. Of course he can. It's just a 1x one, one oh, creature. I'm going to fall back. That was a 66 crit. And no damage right there. That's good. Carrie is doing her thing. Lystra is not going to do her thing. Lystra is going to bail so hard. There we go. Okay, Lystra, just stay there. And we're good. So, let's read this holodisc. What is it? Oh, man, we're out of time. So, I think we're going to read the holodisc next episode. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.